make sure that we begin to tax the rich instead of clamping down on all the regular working people. And you're one of uh, Congressman Neal's constituents? Yes, I am. I'm in the new expanded district, and it doesn't seem like he has much room for the ideas of the rest of the district. He's really not listening to us, doesn't meet with us, and we need him to be more responsive. That's what democracy is about, right? Well, we like to visit Congressman Neal. We think one of these days we'll actually be able to see him personally, although it's always possible. Um, we think we need a financial transaction tax in this country, and we thought standing out in front of his office would be a good way to put some pressure on him to get to support this bill. I'm from Progressive Democrats America, and we've been talking about a financial transaction tax for four years. Hoping that at some point he will join and support this bill. What has his office said to you about the bill? Well, the one time we had a conversation with him is he was concerned about the bill costing jobs in the insurance industry. That's what he said. Uh, though, you know, it's such a minimal tax, it's not a tax that's going to affect 99% of the people in the country, and probably I wouldn't think affect the insurance industry very much. Uh, but that was what he said, and he couldn't support it because of that. That was about two years ago when we had that conversation. I wanted to welcome everybody who came today on this horrible day um, <laughs> to, um, to support the idea that we should really be taxing Wall Street. And this bill, filed by um, uh, Representative Keith Ellison, uh, has been filed, and it's been signed by many, many supporters. Massachusetts, the only one we haven't gotten to yet is Representative Neal. We do have a meeting with Representative Neal on the 28th. Um, there are well over um, 180 to 200 organizations that support the bill, including many, 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 many uh, people on the right and the left, people who work in, on Wall Street and off the Wall Street. I'm signed with the Pioneer Valley Workers Center, and we really support this tax because we have workers come into our office every day who are doing hard work, contributing to their communities, uh, growing the food we eat, preparing it, serving it, processing it, working retail, and they're struggling every day to put food on their own table. That's not right. We need to tax Wall Street and bring some of that money back into our communities to the people who are doing the work that sustains us and, and sustains our communities. We're coming on this beautiful day. Out here in the Berkshires, this is sort of a good day, so we're, we're feeling right in home. This is a bill that will return some of the economic growth to the people of this country, rather than the 1% who are the ones who are paying off. These are the benefits of the public. 1% is doing quite well, and everybody else, everybody else is, is really working hard. It's time for uh, Representative Neal to start representing all of us, rather than just the, the 1%. So it's time for this bill, and I hope that Representative Neal will get on board and, and join the effort to make the economy fair for everybody. The tax is not just a tax on Wall Street tan transactions. That's what it looks like formally on paper. But why are they making all those transactions, investing in Walmart, in General Electric, and Verizon, and the big boxes in general who are getting tax subsidies? The top 10 uh, retail fast food uh, employers in this country all get subsidies. Walmart gets subsidies, you know, by forcing its workers to go on Medicaid and um, food stamps. So that's what makes these stocks attractive to these people. So this is one way of getting that money back. It's not the direct way, but it's definitely an essential way. And they do it in Europe, right? Yeah. Why not do it here? We're always behind the to make sure we're armed with the, uh, the goal of, uh, of making this uh, message be about every single person in America, the, every single one of the 99%. We don't have a meeting until the 28th, but um, we are able to bring in the Patty Healy and Minerva Minerva Healy from the registered nurse and I'm a member of the National Nurses United. And we're working together with many other organizations to call on Congress to pass a bill that will apply a tax on Wall Street transactions that will ultimately produce more money from the very rich in order to fund the priorities of people living in the United States. And it, 
be able to fund all of the, the needs that we have, better education, health care, uh, food, um, and an improved economy, jobs, uh, research, and so on.